And we're back, guys. GGL we go. number right. seven. Right on Just in time for the finals. It's about to go down. We got in the finals. We got Redwoods. Red. I'm sorry, not Redwoods. No, nope. no. That, no. That's, he's already out he's of right there. Here. He's out of there. We got there. Young Sag, Eric B, and Tech Mobile. Yeah. So Tech Mobile is the the last great hope of the newcomers to the GGL. Yeah. So Big Face had an impressive performance. I got a big shout out to Big Face. Big Face in his debut performance not only didn't get a donut, but also made it out of the first round, got into the second round. So that's a huge accomplishment, especially in your first time in the GGL. Yeah. yeah. Red Grant joystick didn't work. Yeah, no. So we didn't have we didn't have ghost phone calls. We didn't have joystick malfunctions. We didn't have complaints about lag. It was a, it was a good tournament thus far. Yeah, all right, definitely. And then uh, we got Tech Mobile, who teamed up with Eric V and Sag, who has now found himself in the finals, going against the current reigning champion. So I mean, this this has the makings of a, a Cinderella story, if you will. Yeah, there, I mean, it it always is when you're going up against a big boss man who's done it time and time again, right? Any team that beats the Patriots is always an underdog so definitely an underdog opportunity here for Eric V he made it to the last finals fell just short against his teammate that he's playing against Dan Rue in the 2v2 GGL that was a GGL 6 uh, last month so Eric V coming back for that trophy and he wants that hardware yeah it does he wants that hardware the thing is how many times have we seen players where they wanted the hardware but weren't able to take it home with them six yeah that's six uh, times no actually five Five. Five times. So, yeah, for, remember, GGL number two. Mortal Kombat. Brooke walked away with it. That's right. Brooke Bridges walked away with a trophy there. Well, I guess this is the sixth time we've seen it. Yeah. So, five times on Madden, yeah, nobody, the hardware has not left the compound. Yep. So, so. It's, really, it's really an optical illusion. Like, you think they're actual trophies, but if they stepped outside the gates of the compound, like, they would just, like, disintegrate. Yeah. Like Thanos snapped his finger and don't like, exist. Yep, it's gone. It's all gone. All right, we're gonna see before we get before we get too excited. Got to see the kickoff here. Yeah, we gotta see. Gotta see that it's lined up. Now we think with that fix, we think with the bug fix, we should be good. We'll see. Still waiting. Uh, waiting for one more. I think it's Young Sack. All right, we yeah, there. there we have, and we have it. We have a championship game that is gonna be underway, going live down to the field for the kickoff. Joey Sly kicking things off for the Bullies. Bullies will be on defense first as that no-fly zone will hit look, offense first. Look at how many defenders at one, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people were there. Yeah, that was not great blogging, but hmm? that's all right. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on how things work here. You don't make your money off of kickoffs. You make your money on offense, and Dan Rue, pretty good at doing that. Was able to get 20 points, four possessions last time. Finds himself 45th on the Xbox ladder. One of the better talents, not only in the GGL, but across all of Madden. They're going to start in a running formation here. And Ooh, run it. Good cutback, but cut right into the defender. I wonder what's going on in the mixer chat. Like we've been on the, uh, the YouTube chat for a while, and I do love me some YouTube, but they can't forget our, our roots. We're rooted in the mixer. <laughs> I'll take a peek at the mixer chat. What up, y'all? Make sure Big shout you out hit to Cash up. Lopez, Ricardo, Bakers, Venus, David, David, Spence by. We see all you guys on the YouTube chat. If you want to keep it in the conversation, head over to mixer.com slash Snoop Dogg. Wow, we had a lot of chat to catch up on. Mixer, what's going on, guys? Money bag, folks. Love Lerd. Crossfire still in there. Crossfire is probably the hardest working mod that I have in the chat. That's what's up. Like, pick your hashtag. Hashtag no fly zone with the ball right now. Third and nine. Dan Rue's offense about to be challenged. A little struggle here early on, but still very early on. First quarter, only a minute and five ticked off the clock so far. Remember, Tecmo Bolt controlling this bully's defense. He's your blue, your red is young sag, your green is Eric V. Interesting. Look at those Vegas odds right there. Don B saying, he's like, I got 200 on sag. This is so interesting. No, 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 no. Oh! Woo! Oh, big sack there. You know, I'm surprised that wasn't a fumble. It seemed like the ball came out way before he hit the ground. Yeah, Mahomes able to hold on to it. Yeah, that looked like a fumble. I don't know. Weird. 
yeah, the, I don't know, Madden God smiling down upon that team. A little yeah. champion's favor. It's interesting. Young Sag was controlling the defensive tackle in that, not one of the defenders. And that makes it a little bit easier to click on, right? If you're the defensive coordinator, you want to be the one that switches on, switches to one of those DBs to hop in front. If you've got someone just controlling one of the linemen, he, he won't get in the way, <laughs> basically. So we've already seen... It's going to be have to be an adjustment there out of Dog's team. So we got Elroy, Dan Rue, and Waniac not able to score on that first drive. So, you know, is that the tone that's going to be set for this game so early on? We'll see, man. Again. Now, early we saw Bully's team really stuck with the run. Will they do the same thing here? Getting brought uh, down in the backfield. That run's going to go absolutely nowhere. That's actually going to be at a loss of three. Yeah. I don't – there was definitely a lane to cut up to there. He, he had the ability to cut up. It said he tried to bounce all the way to the outside. Jadavian Clowney peeling off of his blocker and makes an easy tackle. Again, we've seen some good running back running. We've seen some poor running back running, and that was a little bit of that poor. Ooh. Oh, cut to the outside. Nice little run to the outside. Corner. Yeah. Yeah. Make it manageable here. So yeah. that was a seven-yard run, eight-yard run. Eight-yard run. It's a good run. Third and five. Much better situation to be in here. It gives you a lot more options. You can either stay with the run. You can go to the air. You know, I, I really feel like this is going to be a factor that we're going to see again, especially with these guys, you know, running with. Oh, I, just, I don't like, I don't like them. I don't like this play. Oh, okay. See if they're running the ball. We just saw a lot of audibles here. They are going to try to get around the corner. Bray oh, breaks oh, free, picks go. up the first. Let's go. Little early celebration out of Elroy. Unfortunately, they're going to pick up the first down there. Yeah. I'm seeing a beach ball in the chat there. Hey, beach ball, what's make up? Sure, make sure you keep that keep that beach ball going. Popping up in here. That's a big. That's a hundred thousand sparks, isn't it? I want to say it's two hundred. Is it two hundred thousand? That's two hundred thousand sparks, right sparks for one beach ball. Only three people playing. I wonder how long it can go. Young Sag with that pop-off from the last run. Big play there by Young Sag. But after another run, negative yardage. Things not quite working out. At what point is Eric V going to have to start pulling the trigger with throwing the ball? Uh, right now. Come here, Nizzle. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, he had B underneath. It was a hook, I believe. Young Sag was sitting there waiting for that curl to come through. Not quite able to get it. You know, sometimes you get so caught up in waiting for the receiver to get open, looking downfield, and you're like, oh, wait, if I wait a little more, he'll be, and then by then you're hit. Yeah. Beach ball, y'all. You got That's 24. five players. If you guys can make it to 200 hits, I will personally give away a copy of Madden 20. Hey. What a catch. That was nuts. So big roll out there to the right. Oh, oh, 37 hits. <laughs> Big rollout to the right. Steve Young able to connect on that one. Ooh, I don't know about this kick. It's good. Oh, uh, yeah, it's good. There it is. He said, hey, you know what? I don't want to be in the donut shop. I'm going to put three early ones on the board. Yeah. We always seem in the finals, teams play a little bit more conservative with their play calls. If, if you can get three points, almost everybody take those three points. I feel like you have to. Because especially we, we've seen the way the end of the game and the tide changes, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you go back to that one big run. We thought that he was going to get stopped. Snoop thought he was, he was going to get stopped, and he ended up making a couple more yards, get that first down. That yeah. leads three points. Big stuff there. You know, that's just like uh, when they say. They say don't celebrate until uh, they like hand the ball to the referee. Yep, hand you the know? ball to the referee. All right, we're going to try this again. Oh, run, cutting in the middle. Nice user juke, but not able to go, not able to go far at all. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of big linemen there inside the middle. And you do get one juke, but that's about it. Now, Deacon, i got to ask you this. So what is the difference that you've seen so far? Because right now we are not seeing the dominant offensive side of the ball, especially from Dan Rue at this point. Yeah, I mean, he was saying it earlier. It was only four possessions that he had. He ran the ball a ton to uh, get those points. In this case, run's not there. So like what a dog's defense normally makes offenses do, he's, he's begging you to throw here. And so here you got the run pass option. 
He's going to fake the run and ends up running. Oh, he's going to go with the run, and he's going to get brought down in the backfield. That's negative five yards there. Said third and 15 Roo. situation. Yeah, this offense not quite going, and the bullies doing it on defense right now. Deacon, let me ask you this. How do you feel about, uh, how do you feel about having Mahomes at the, at the helm? It's fine. He's mobile, and he's more accurate than some of the other current mobile quarterbacks, but I don't know why he's in over Mike Vick. I don't know why he's over Steve Young. Those are the two main quarterbacks you see in on mutt teams. Yeah, yeah. Instead, with Mahomes there, you get a little bit more of like a generalist rather than a specialist. A big shout out to my main man Cordell sliding through in the studio. I see you out there, Church. Hello. Said, listen here, Jack. Oh, run to the outside. Just one to go. Oh, big truck. Yeah, makes the tackle, though, nine yards, not all 15 you need. Yeah, fourth and seven situation. They're going to punt this one away. Yeah, they are. Big, big, big stop here for the Bullies' defense. Two possessions. No points here for Dan Rue's offense and the rest of no yeah, fly zone. Yeah, that one's going to fly out of bounds. Over at the 23. So pretty good field position turnover. If you're punting from the 25, you give it to the opponent's 23. What's that, almost a 50, 52-yard switch there so what we're seeing here though is we're seeing uh young sag pretty quiet early on in this game they're nursing only a three-point lead he popped off on the first down snoop celebrated and then they got that first down led to three points but yeah young sag relatively quiet right now again we know that the boss of the offense eric v the boss of the defense is tech mobile young sag's getting it done where he needs to get done he's covering the running back right now let's see if he's going to be running this ball here now this is where we need we need waniac to shine right here we've seen waniac on defense Ooh. oh not able to get there they're able to bring it down toe tap there by i believe that's tory holt yeah New Dory Holt card coming out. You hear it over there? Young Sag said, what fly zone? Yeah, he's starting to get going. Oh, uh, you know, that's the thing. When the mouth starts running. Yeah. Karma has a weird way of working its way in here at the GGL. Yeah, your mouth can't start running too fast. Otherwise, the controller may not be able to keep up. All right, y'all. You're seeing it before your eyes. Oh, nice little juke there by Eric V, but the CPU running across trying to be helpful. Trying to block, ended up blocking Saquon himself. Only that's three yards. Second and seven situation. Still only up three points, but that seems like a very aggressive three, especially with us being about halfway through the second quarter. I mean, this is going to be obviously a low-scoring game unless yeah. you know something goes tragically wrong in the next you know three minutes. Well, we'll right. see. Again, oh, nice juke. Maybe could have. Maybe won too many cuts. I think cutting back inside was the downfall of that play. Exactly. Maybe if you truck stick forward, you fall forward. Instead, he tried to slide right, and he ends up falling backwards. Third and one instead of first and ten. Let's see if they're able to keep establishing this run. This is the first offense that we've seen do that against Newt. Going to pick up a new set of downs just like that. Now, we've seen, so they marched down the field before, but they had to settle for a field goal. Can they win this game if they're they keep continuously being forced to settle for field goals, or do they need to get in the end zone to send a message? I think this is fine. I think the fact that they're running on this defense here, it's really calmed down and quieted down this no-fly zone squad that was feeling themselves flying high after that 20 to 3 victory earlier. And by just getting these runs going, even though this last one was a loss, you're kind of getting at the heart of what this team is about. The heart is this run defense. Don't run on us. You're not going to run on us. There's no fly zone because we dare you to do it. But by starting that one up, you're saying, hey, I really don't care what your name is. I don't care what you're about. We're here to win. So I think this is a nice start here for the Bullies. And winning's, winning's what they would love to do. Bully, of course, has been in a final situation, not able to get it done before. So a huge situation for him. Eric V in his only second appearance here in the GGL would love to walk away with a championship. And, of course, Tech Mobile in his debut performance would love nothing more than in his debut in the GGL to walk away a champion. Yeah, he would, but, man, Eric V needs to find these sitting routes. They're constantly these routes underneath probably around like seven to eight yards where they just run and do a hitch and because you have so many people control controller defensing the players like control the players there's some spots that are wide open after three seconds instead he holds the ball way too long gets sacked in the in the pocket third and 13 situation Ooh, nice cut shoot. back inside gonna pick up a couple not gonna be enough yeah, and in this case, you got to punt the ball here. It's you're gonna punt so that far. one away. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna trust your kicker for uh, 
what was that, 60? 60 yard. Yeah, 60 this yard would be 60 yard. No, because we saw the limits of Joey Sly's range. It was it was 56. But I thought he only gave that one 90, like 93% power. Yeah, so you're going to try to play for that extra 7% here. Uh, I know Dan Rue's offense is currently asleep. That doesn't mean it's going to stay asleep. Play smart. Give yourself an opportunity here with this punt. This was going to stay out of bounds. Yeah. Out of the back of the end zone. It was, it was close-ish, but uh, out of the back of the end zone. All right, Dion, we've asked this every game. The question still remains, at what point does Team No Fly Zone need to get on the board? They got time. It's only 3-0, to zero, so I think, you know, you put pressure on yourself to score before halftime, but I don't, I don't think it's a big issue. Bullies get the ball back. So bullies get the ball in the second half. So you kind of feel pressure to, but, again, uh, Dog's defense has been getting it done. I don't see how it would oh, be. Oh, nice issue. cut up the middle. Big shake and bake. Yeah. Not enough to pick up the first, but. That's a smart play there by Tech Mobile. He takes control of Ed Reed. Just sits. Just sit and wait. Don't run forward at him. You know he's going to juke, but you don't know which way. If you sit and wait, you're able to recover, make the tackle. Just these small little details that Tech Mobile is doing on the defensive side, I like it a lot. Tech Mobile, definitely one of the come out superstars here in the hey. GPL. Oh! Hey. hey, hey. You can see. Dan Rue saying that was a touchdown. I'm saying he ran into the butt again. Yeah, you see the frustration on Dan Rue coming through right there. That's what we've seen before. We, we cannot allow – Dan Rue can't let motion, emotions play himself in this game. He's got to stay focused. He's got to be a leader on this team, especially, you know, between him and Dog and Waniac. Like Dan Rue, they're really looking towards Dan Rue as a top 45 in Madden to really help lead this team. And composure being one of those elements. Yeah, and again, I, I've said it before, this team doesn't lack talent. I'm just worried about the cohesiveness over the, uh, the amount Ooh. of star power. Ooh. Now the sack. That's a, that's a big time sack. Fourth and 12. I mean. It's quiet here. You've had, you've had, to, it's you've quiet had to punt here. it away every single time. The, Deacon, here's the problem. We've seen this before. In the very last GGL, Dog was down the entire time, and we saw him beat Dan Rue with less than 15 seconds remaining. That's when the change happened. With Bully only having a three-point lead, I mean, this is nothing for what we've seen comebacks for. Sure, but, again, not used to seeing the dynamic offense of Dan Rue, who only has one job right now is run that offense. Zero points at halftime. Uh, again, to step up in terms of defensive skill with Tecmo Bowl controlling it. And because of that, he's had a little bit more difficulty get yards here. So what, another thing you can see, you see a lot of communication between Young Sag, Eric V, and Tecmo Bowl. So these guys are staying on it. They're making adjustments. Oh, he's wide open. Yeah, he didn't want to throw it there. Oh, my goodness. Nobody clicking on there. And that looked pickable. Fly. Whoop. <laughs> oh, we're seeing the Look frustration. At Look at Young Sag in the camera. <laughs> Even if Young Sag loses, he's going to enjoy this moment right now. Because they are uh, getting yards here. Oh, nice little play action. Buys time. Oh, throw yeah. it away. Oh. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah, but big opportunity there. That was risky. That was risky. That was risky. That's hard. Again, look at that. Julius Peppers is rolling out. 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Barring any kind of crazy long plays on this one, looks like going into halftime, Bullies team going to be nursing a 3-0 lead. Yeah, 15 seconds, one time out here for Bullies, second and 10. I don't think you have to worry too much about no fly zone getting the ball back. Unless you, unless unless you, you bomb it downfield and throw a pick. Yeah, that's what you do. Nah, he's going to go, he he's go on the run. Fumble, fumble goes out, fumbles out of bounds. Clock stops. Again, you want to get into field goal range. That's about 20 yards. I think now is one of those times where you can try a 60-yard field goal. I think Max, again, 57. But, uh, again, that, that's about uh, 17 yards. So kicking a 60-yarder here, it's going to give you the touchdown, which means they have to score the touchdown. But given the extra point, then that would put them ahead by one. Yeah. So is the risk worth the reward at that point? We'll see. Again, Eric V hasn't had the most success from the ball. Oh, oh getting dropped in the end. backfield. So, quick time out there by No Fly Zone. That gives them an opportunity to run one more play. Yeah, they'll get one play. They can now, just punt it. They're just going to punt it way in the air. That's Tress Way. Just get that out. And that should take about five seconds. Oh, that was close for a block. Almost a block. 
Ball's still in. Dan Rue has an opportunity to run his back. Oh, he's going to take He's going to run this one. Yeah, too much juking. Too yeah. much. Yeah. He can't help it. He's dancing Dan Rue. Dancing Dan Rue. Dancing Dan Rue getting no points on the board after one half. So you're seeing the focus now. One could say, could Dan Rue be the kryptonite to Elro? Oh, that's a that's a juicy storyline. We won't go down that one quite yet. Let's get a little bit closer. You know, because again, that game, it went real late. We touched on it multiple times. Oh, yeah. GGL six, it came down to the final couple of plays before that game was over. This is still just one possession as Great as the Bullies' defense has been, the way the Tecmo Bowl has called this game, uh, still just three points. Oh, yeah. doing his job. We are we are one interception, one fumble recovery away from this being a totally different ball game. Yep. So second and eight. Again, Eric V not getting away from the run. Want to establish a run, establish it early, establish it often. Everyone using Saquon and. Uh, finding ways to make this happen. See, D guy, my, my only concern is doing so much to establish a run. I feel like these guys are really restricting their, their quarterbacks when it comes to late game and needing a pass and needing big yards downfield. There's a huge sack there. Ball came loose, but not a fumble. No fumble. Again, just no time. Zero time. That time, the pressure came from the middle. Oh, I came from the outside. I lied. Khalil Mack. But he sat in the pocket well. Oh, that's what it was. It was a stunt. So Khalil Mack, starting from the outside, goes inside and just user-guided right on in for the sack. Nice play there by Dogs defense. Big third down. It's like a give Ooh, up. Going to run to the outside. Probably going to pick up a first. Oh, oh stop just short. Just short. They're on their own 29-yard line. So fourth and line. two situation. you got to wonder, are these guys thinking to go for it right now? I love it right now. Eric V immediately saying, you want to go for it, you want to go for it. Young Sag now. So here's, like, here's the problem, Dan. I'm sorry, Dion. If you uh, if you go for it here and you have a turnover on downs, yeah, you're so deep in your own territory. Yeah, you're virtually giving the offense. I mean, you're gu guaranteeing that oh. the field goal. Yeah, but they're going for it. This is ballsy. I like it. Are they going to get the yardage? Oh, oh it, it breaks the free. Fuck, go. Good tackle. Good user tackle there. I think that was Dog switching on, and then again, not getting juked out. But what a run. What a ballsy call. We're going to remember this one throughout this game. Oh, yeah. yeah Eric Ed. V. Ballsy? Ballsy call. I didn't say baldy. I said ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in now? Am I in now? <laughs> oh, big fumble. Oh. Ooh. A big fumble, unfortunately, recovered by the offense. That's crazy. You know, eventually the defense is going to get their scoop down. Oh, we might be able to run one of those back. But that's exactly what they need. And we're seeing this animation over and over again. It was a guy blocking who picks it up and then gets tackled. That is, that is so lucky there. And again, at some point this is going to happen. They've been running Saquon over and over again. Now you can see Eric V subbing on in, and you always ask, like, why do you sub out running backs? Why do people do that? Because they do have fatigue. They do get tired, and stuff like that happens. Oh, that's oh, a big hit. Yeah, caught in the backfield. Unblocked. Now, see, this is a different defense that we're seeing now. Now it seems like now they're all on one accord. Before, these guys were, you know, driving a Civic. But yeah. now they're on one accord. And I think that's what big plays do. You know, you, you go to the dealership, you get one of those, and now all of a sudden you want all of those. And so I think, again, that fumble drop in early. And now the defense able to pin their ears back. Maybe get to see some pressure here from Elroy's defense. Third and 15 situation. Huge play here. Ooh, timeout. These timeouts are going to be so valuable because the score is so close. No fly zone switching up their defense here. And, uh, yeah, you could hear Dog. We could hear Dog over here. He said he was in the wrong zone coverage for that last play. They call timeout. You know, yeah, that's, that's good things. coaching because it's, it's knowing, hey, it's worth using the timeout here because yeah. in a third and 15 situation, you'd rather get the turnover on downs. Oh, oh just to run down. again. again. Oh. That was good. That was good. Ooh, Dan Rude, the pop-off. Yeah. And that really lit a fire up in this room right now. Now things are getting exciting. Dan Rue, the pop off. Another punt going out of the back of the end zone, only a net 30 yard return there. 
It's not the greatest. Oh, uh, we'll see. Now, Dan Rue, with, after the nice stop there, the question is, can their offense get some points on the board? Because right now, we're actually seeing uh, Team Elroy, a.k.a. No Fly Zone, in the donut shop. Yeah. They are in the donut shop, but here we go. All right, there's a big run up the middle. But again, not used to seeing this. Not used to seeing Elroy in the donut shop, even though he might just be perusing. He's you know, trying to cruise the heck out of there. At a, cer at a certain point, you got to wonder, are they trolling? Were they just doing this just for the show? Were they like, hey, let's just run some offense that we're not necessarily going to run you know, well, and know. then we'll turn it on late game? I don't know. I, I don't think, you know, as much as I've seen them run up the score, I don't think they'd ever hold back like that. If they are trying to do something fancy, doing something special, it's, it's trying to score like as many points as they can. <laughs> They're trying to join the 50 club. Trying to put, you know, I've actually seen, uh, there was a game in the chat the other day, went into the 70 club. No, 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 no. <laughs> So I don't think that's that's behoo of them I'm to wait, try. I'm waiting on somebody to get in the Century points. Club. Somebody put somebody in the Century Club. That's gonna be that's some, that that person is trying to get into the Century Club too. Yeah, both. It's two memberships. Got him. Oh, oh no, man. huge tackle yet again, man. Get over here. Again, Erlacher being controlled there by Tecmo Bowl, just wrapping around the blocking, and no user juke. We talking about getting that user juke up? Look at that. Open field tackle, big play by Tecmo Bowl, bringing up a third down. I mean, the offensive production for Team No Fly Zone just n hasn't been there so far. It only, hasn't. Only down by three, but now we're late in the All third right. quarter. you got to make something happen eventually because you don't want this to become a two-possession game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, Dan Rue. Time to step up. There it is. There's Makes possession. the catch. Second you fall first? That's enough for a first. All right, enough for a first. So good play, and again, you can see a little bit of defensive aggression there. The Champ Bailey player there for the Eagles trying to go for a pick instead of swatting it down. You swat that down, the, the animation will probably step up in front. Degon, do you, the question is, do you at this point, do you absolutely need to put points on the board here? Yeah, you need points now. Even if it's just a field goal, you got to get something on the board. Even if it's just a field goal, I think... Elroy's done his job. He's gotten the team up based off of defense. It's almost like a, it's a pick me up now. Dan Rue needs to get some points on the board for his squad so that there's a little bit of faith here in no fly zone. Because right now it's severely lacking. Here we go, fourth quarter, fourth quarter. Four is up in the building. Four is up in the building. I'm from Chicago. I can't do that. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'm not from that neighborhood. Mm. I got it. Me too. I played football once or twice. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Dan Rue dropping back. Plenty of time in the pocket. Running out of the pocket. Going to throw. That's what's going to be way out of bounds. Yeah, again, nobody open when everyone's running the benches. Benches are the outs to the flags, both sides. So once you roll out to one side because the pressure comes on in, you cut off half the field. There's no one coming across the field. Dan Rue had no one to throw to, throws it out of bounds. Big, big third down here, third and long. Look at this pressure. There's no one covering that Brandon Cooks. I like that call. I like that call. If he's running out here, that's real, real nice. No one's going to be there to cover that. Waniac just running that fly, so I expect to see Brandon Cooks run that out. Here we go. Good play. Oh, but look at that double coverage. Ooh, almost a pick there. E. Oh. Fourth and 11, and it will be a punt. They're going to kick this one away. 451 left in the fourth. Only down by three, but it has been almost impossible to put points on the board. Yeah, it has. These two defenses have definitely stepped up against the offenses, but Eric V has been able to get it done three points, but he needs to get going. It's all defense today in this finals here at GGL 7. I mean, you really got to give credit to Waniac and Elroy. They're really keeping Team No Fly Zone in this game by not allowing – Bullies team to extend their lead. I mean, and same goes over there for Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl shutting down Dan Rue's offense. He had his way in that last game against Red Squared and Big Face, but oh, not the case here in this finals game when it matters. And now, now I think we can start bringing up finals history. Now I think we could start talking about Kryptonite and all those different storylines because the pressure is on, on Dan Rue, on uh, Elroy Denard Jetson. Can they coexist here in the pressure time? Because right now, look at this. Oh, breaking free. Picking up a first down. Here we go. 
Here we go. Those are some big runs. Big, big runs there. A lot of people falling backwards when they're tackling for but again, so, no fly zone. so key right now, Dion. The pressure setting in. You see how quickly Dan Rue getting frustrated. Yeah. Frustration leads to bad play calls. Bad play calls leads to bad playing. Bad playing leads to losses. Yeah, and to be fair, like he has not had a lot of time to throw the ball. Uh, the times where they've had uh, passes, great calls there by Tech Mobile to bring pass pressure. When they ran, they stacked the box, they stopped the run. A couple of 10, 15 yard pop offs, but they haven't been able to turn it into points yet. And this is uh, that's nice, a nice delay stuff of game. by Eric V. Nah, that's bad. That's just bad. Fourth quarter in the finals. Yeah, that's a, that's you're a in control. Game. Eric V giving up some precious yardage here, especially when these defenses have been playing like they have. So now they find themselves in a second and 13 situation. <laughs> down to the outside. There you go. Right down Ooh, to the back. That, that, you know what? Here's the thing. And you've said it time and time again. It seems like they're using the run, but they're always going to the left. It seems like if you just throw the double coverage there, you're pretty much protected against any big plays. Yep. That's what – I don't know. We've seen a couple runs to the right. They haven't been as memorable. Most of these big runs that we've seen have been to the left, but we've seen just so many get stuffed. So many get stuffed. And it just seems like it's a numbers problem. Here we go, third and 15. This is a huge play. Four team no flies on them. They is can it, get a stop here. This can be a huge momentum shift. Is he really going to do this? Is Eric V really going to pass this here? He's going to look for it. That's an aggressive play. They're waiting for the clock to roll. Play action. Here we go. Has time. Rolls out of the pocket. Woo! Oh, and the open. catch. User playmaker right there. And that is pretty damning here. Only two timeouts. Remember, no fly zone had to use a timeout earlier to change up one of the defenses. They need to get a stop here. Yeah. No yeah. play needed to be called here. Eric V is too smart. He's not going to call a play here. Oh, you were wrong. Oh. That's terrible clock management. Terrible clock. That was terrible clock. No, management. but that's terrible that's good. That's good for team no fly zone. Yes. So sometimes those those managerial I'm mistakes so, are what I, keeps the team in the game. Sorry, I just don't understand that. He just wasted 36 seconds that they could have blown off by calling a play with four seconds left. That just made no sense by Eric V. No sense. And so it gives uh, no fly zone a possible timeout back basically. Remember, if they get if they get the first, it doesn't matter. I mean, but here we go. If they don't, we can say this is going to be an absolute nail biter. Because yeah. if they can get the turnover on downs here, that means they are literally going to have less than the two minute drill to get downfield and score. Yeah, and without the first down here, I don't think they'll be in field goal range. I don't see Eric V trying a, you know, a 63 yarder, an NFL record tying 64 yarder. That doesn't make sense either. But I mean, he snapped the ball earlier. I, well, I have you wrong. seen the wind on this field though? Oh, I have not. Oh, he's going to get there. He's going to pick it. Oh, that's just short. That's inches. That's inches. That's inches. And, of course, you go for it. That's the right play. He did go out of bounds moving forward, so the clock is stopped. This is huge. This is huge this, right here. This stop is the whole game right here. Yeah. If, if they can get this stop, no fly zone has a shot. If they pick up this first down, it's over. Shades of whatever Super Bowl with the uh, Patriots and the Seahawks. Do you run it or do you pass it? And I'm pretty sure everyone knows where they're going, what uh -oh. they're doing. It's run to the left. Unbated breath. Oh, oh it's just like that. It's gone. Getting spun free. This is it, baby. <laughs> Woo! Mathematically, I think they're done. They take care of the ball. They run the ball multiple times. Mathematically, this game I mean, is they, done. They could take two knees, and I mean, this one's over. They could, but I don't. Eric B ran the ball with six seconds left before the team. You know, that's the call he's gonna make. No, no, no. They're gonna, they're gonna risk getting the fumble. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so a little bit of a communication mistake there, but the game's there, and there it is. The first time ever, we're gonna see the L from L. Roy. Never seen before. With a donut. With a donut too. Where, where, where's the donut shop? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. That's the first of what is surely going to be another kneel. Yeah. And there we go. All the way to the end, there it is, final play, and it's in the books.
And just like that, guys, those last 17 seconds are going to tick off the clock for the very first time. So we have the upset of the GGL. We haven't seen it ever again, ladies and gents. And that's it. They're going to final knee, and just like that, final score, three to zero. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we have not seen this ever again in GGL history. d -Gown, I want to remind you what, what happened there. We just saw a 3-0 win. Not only were they not able to get into the end zone, they kicked a field goal and they put the Elroy in the donut shop. Yeah, they so they did. were able to win with only three points on the board. Yeah, big, big defensive stands. We asked if the newcomers would be able to do it. Tecmo Bowl coming up huge here. Tecmo Bowl, his first GGL appearance, is already a champion. Yeah. Huge. We've had a lot of guys come out, try multiple times, but it was a huge defensive struggle. Only three points scored between both squads. And instead, the offenses go quiet for both teams. But three points gets it done here. Three points, enough to take it down. Well, I guess technically, Elroy still undefeated in singles, undefeated in doubles. But when it comes to 3v3 Madden, we have a new champion in town. That squad of Young Sag, Eric V, and Tech Mobile, the official GGL 7 champions for 3v3 Madden 20 action. Yeah, they are, and they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. Huge, huge defensive performance. These guys beat multiple squads. They weren't even seated. They had to go through Ludi Hitamania Chevy. They're able to take all the wins, one, two, three wins, to the championship. So let's before that, let's let's remind everybody that these guys took the long road to the finals. Said so they started off against TDAP, Trip, and Eagle. Yeah, first they got through those three. Then they had to work their way through the Taylor Gang. Nine to three. We knew it was going to be a defensive game. Yeah, got through Taylor Gang and then make their way to the finals, where then they finally get a chance to knock off Elroy Denard Jets. And they were able to do so. Three points is all it took in the first half. No offensive production by either side. Now, we had a mention of this earlier. We talked about, was it possible that Dan Rue could be the kryptonite to Dog? We saw the defensive prowess of Dog and Waniac as they stayed true and held the defense at bay almost the entire game. It was just unfortunate that Dan Rue was not able to get the offense started for that side. Yeah, you know, and we've heard Elroy say before, and we've heard Elroy say before, <laughs> it's all about knowing who is in what spot. You know, do your job. And again, Elroy held down the defense only three points, but on offense, not quite able to get things rolling. Yeah, not able to get it done today. But celebrating a new champion, the three-on-three -three champions once again, Young Sag, Eric V, Tecmo Bowl, taking away the GGL number seven Madden 20 championship. Sag, Sag feeling it now. Like This is Sag's first time making his way to the booth. You know, we see him often in no, the no, booth. No, 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 no. We've seen Sag in the booth multiple times. No, but never, we didn't invite him. He just yeah. comes in. But never as a winner. <laughs> Woo! Sag usually, you know what? Sag usually swings by the booth. He's like, "Hey, can I pick up the trophy? Can I deliver the trophy to the winners?" But for the first time, said Sag, son, son, the team of Sag, Eric B, and Tech Mobile, the very first three v three Madden Ultimate Team GGL number seven champion. Tough game, tough game. All right, so first off, we got to start off with the new kid on the block. Yeah. We're going to start off with Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl, this is your very first GGL, very first time in the compound, getting it done. What was it like for you to, one, experience playing? I know you played with these guys online, but what was it like playing here under all the cameras with all the pressure? How were you able to get it done today? It's a little more stress, but uh, after that first game, after we came back and won, uh, pretty much knew we had a good shot. Going we get all the headphones defense played well. Uh, Dog played a hell of a game. Uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah, tough game. Yeah, Eric V, obviously, you had the offense in control. He ain't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> over the last Hold two on, games. Time out. Over time the time last out. two Hold games. Hold on, time out. Hold on to Bully. Bully. <laughs> Some motherfuckers deserve these. Hello. Somebody got to somebody got to come out. Young, yeah. young Sag grabbing come the on. chains. Hello. <laughs> They'll be coming around your neck when they come. Hey. They'll be running around your neck when they come. We will be wearing those. Give me mine, bro. I got you, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Dog making his way over to Woo. something I, I never thought I would have to give. 
teacher. Never thought I'd have to give one of these. This is my teacher right here, man. Shit, this is my teacher. Never thought I'd end up giving one of these. Oh, oh, oh. Here you go, Wainiac. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. And where's Dan Rue? Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. Dan Rue. In a Super Bowl, oh, milk and donuts. We got, we got night. something to go with that that uh, fifteen hundred second milk. test for you. <laughs> <laughs> milk and donuts. <laughs> Who gonna Ooh, be in the group donut. chat tonight? Oh, oh, there is Dan. Dan's and Dan Rue made the bad and the ugly. We take it. We take the good with Dan the bad with the ugly. Jesus. This stage is on Dan and Rue's face. Hold on. We gotta tag back in with Eric B. Real quick. Eric B. Of course, one of the newer players in the GGL. We've seen an impressive performance before. However, you didn't have it enough to get it done last time, but this time, how does it feel to be able to walk away a champion? Oh, man, it feels great. Uh, we, we did a lot of scouting. We was looking at shit, and then I was kind of like we were helping each other with the, the plays against what formations and shit like that, but it, it was good. It worked out. I scouted uh, Tecmo early on. We played a head-to-head -head game. I was like, we need to get that dude on our team. So we had run the defense, and I ran out. Nicely done. What's up, and of course, we cannot we cannot have it, the interview without the bully, the bully, the anchor of the team, the oldest member in the GGL on that squad. He's been playing since GGL number one. Bully, we've seen you build a reputation on built bullying people online, and all the people at home have ever seen is you getting bullied here. Well, today, for the first time, the bully is a champion here at the GGL for number seven. Bully, how does it feel? You don't know what this means, bro. Congratulations. This guy got good. I'm trying to get a thousand of them over here. He got a thousand. This is just one. But this is a great accomplishment. You know, Dog is my teacher. He got me ready for this about a week ago. So here I is. Hard work, dedication with the team. Bam. Get you one of these. If you ain't got one of these, don't say nothing to me. All right. <laughs> say nothing. That's nobody. So the team, the team of Eric B. and Sag and Technical Bowl, now the only people who also share with Madden Trophy is sharing those with Dog. Uh, we have our, our runner-up presentation, as you guys remember. The runner-ups all going to receive $500 a piece. So that means Big Dog, Wainiac, and Dan Rue, all of them walking away. However, for the winners, they're so excited about the hardware, they forgot about the cash prize. Oh, shit. Shit. The I cash prize for the winners, $7,500. Getting split between the three of them, that's $2,500 a piece says, for Young six Sag. <laughs> you said $6,000 split $5,000? So young, young, young Sag, Eric B, Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile, not a bad afternoon. Came to the compound, hung out, played some Madden, walked away with $2,500. It's just a real experience, man. Thank you to Elroy for this. Is thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for being competitive online, getting with me. I, I like playing against you online. That's why I let you get in, because... I feel like he was giving us games, and like I, I like to entertain motherfuckers that give up games. Like when you play, this is the reward you get for getting busy. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate your skills, getting with the homies, and winning the championship, and knocking off all the award because it makes it believable now. Because if I don't want another one, this yeah. is what it feels like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's believable, man. Good so guys, we have one more special presentation. As you guys know, we love hanging out here at the GGL, but of course, in just two short days. Jetson, better known as Snoop, D-O-double-G is having a birthday, and we are celebrating our friends. Yeah. From birthdays, hooking us up yet again, amazing birthday cake. Thank you. With those uh, those wonderful candles, candles sponsored by the Savage 420. So those guys came through in a major way. You guys know the way the birthdays work. Little, little toppers that go on top of your uh, your blunts and all those, dog. All those are for you. Happy birthday, dog. From all of us here at the GGL. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now, guys, what is a birthday 
work. <laughs> what is a birthday without <laughs> presents? You doubted me, Coach. There's a big present for you guys out there. You guys stuck around to the end, but Snoop Dogg coming out with his Snoop Dogg limited edition Lucid Sound LS50 gaming headset. These are available. You guys can go to lucidsound.com. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, that's his, his birthday present, releasing headsets for you guys. So you guys can check these out. Also, what's a birthday without presents? Dog, we got a, I can, you celebrated my birthday with me, so I got something to celebrate your birthday with you. So, praise God. Birthday, <laughs> man. Yeah, I know it's a. It looks like a big trash bag. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not. It's, it's, not, not, it's not a big trash bag. Yeah. So we got we got all kind of gifts. What do we got? We got. Okay. Go ahead. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, you get there one time, you get something. You did. But I'm gonna need my donut chain back. <laughs> I'm taking it home, <laughs> put it on the mantle. Oh, oh they should have left side one one of these. What did they do? They not even a black squad. What did they do? Oh, with the green screen. So it's a new exactly. roll. It's not going to show right here. It's not going to show because it's green screen. Zag boo boo. Got himself a new roll. Got a new, got a new green roll. Yeah. It's bad y'all can't see it because the motherfucker's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Harry Potter. <laughs> so the, the cloak of invincibility. He got a, he got a retired a white robe. Oh, yeah. yeah, the white robe is now retired. From heaven. There it is. There it is. There we go. You guys can see the lovely robe. Nice. Also, it has pockets for you on the side. Zip. So you can stash all your goodies. Okay. Zip pocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say that there. I want you to have another blessed year. Thank you for allowing me to bless you. Okay. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I can take the picture with her first and then you get in. <laughs> he said, take the picture. <laughs> they always do that, try to squeeze in. I'm going to get you one, but let the lady get hers first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a real nigga. I can't help it. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. Now let me let me All right. Okay. Let me approach you. He's throwing stretches on. I'm not trying to get rid of you. <laughs> 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 yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Y'all didn't get me to come on now. You didn't mess up. You didn't gave her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeehaw do to him. <laughs> <laughs> guys getting the behind the scenes. The robe is lit. You guys are right. The uh, robe is lit. I love this chat. Dan, what do you get a man who has everything? A dope ass robe. <laughs> so what do you get a man who has everything? So guys, I want to show you guys this real quick. So the exclusive Snoop Dogg headset. We're gonna open It take two niggas to open it. Too. Come with a <laughs> autograph <laughs> <Not included. laughs> of authenticity. Like some of the homies' pajamas. It take two niggas to put the homies' pajamas on. <laughs> hey man, help me get the help me get the feet. So those are the LS50 Snoop Dogg edition. What's the difference between these and the ones that we've been playing with? So those are now have Bluetooth connectivity, so you what? can have your phone connected. To your headset while you're playing, have game show, sound, me. have your phone, show me. How have your music. Right here, right here, just the power. Yeah, yeah. hit the oh, power, power button. Right. That's the EQ, so power yeah. on this side. Power on the other side. Let me listen. I gotta hold it for two seconds, like y'all said. Yeah. One, two. Not Bluetooth speaker, just Bluetooth technology. Nah, he knows. Yeah, everyone's a smart guy. That's so that everyone's was done. new out of the box. Mm. So where do what, I go now? So what you guys, what you guys at home can't see. So inside the headset, it comes with custom-made sound cues that are recorded by Snoop Dogg. So whenever you change anything, like the volume, slide into the next track, increasing the volume, decreasing the volume. Those are all sound cues that go into that, those new brand new headsets. Available now. Go to LucidSound.com/slash Snoop Dogg. You guys can grab those. Also, super limited edition. Best Buy. Give me, give me your phone, Hollywood. No, no I'm, I'm sorry. Bluetooth. GameStop. Let's Bluetooth your phone, cuz. I like that. GameStop is going to have 200. Which one for Bluetooth phone? We can have 250. How do I put Just Bluetooth 250. phone? 
Sync it with. No point. Just put the teacher nigga right on line. It's right there. <laughs> XRMOA. Yeah, bang some real quick. Mm. It's already hooked up. <laughs> I hear your phone in my shit. Let's play some. Let's see what kind of music you got in there. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> So we got Half Dead hanging out in the studio. Half Dead there in the background. <laughs> Why you put on uh, when doves cry when I put on the head? <laughs> so dog. Never gift. So another gift? Oh, Red Greg got a gift? Yeah, always. Got a happy birthday to my, my brother, dog from Lutzfield. You know, I know you smoke more than that, but... You know, Thank you, Red. I know you too. Happy he said that's to get you to tonight. That's happy what it's for. Happy birthday from the Lutzfield. Red Greg. Thank you. So, of Lush course, fields. said, dog, I had... Pass them around so everybody can listen to what they sound like. So now when they finish playing the game, they can listen to music now. I had a long road. <laughs> I said, what could I get for the man who has everything or could get anything himself? So I just got a little something for you, a couple little things. That I was like, what, what really represents the relationship that I have with Big Snoop Dogg? Yeah, so, let's see it. A pillow, nigga? Y'all live? What the fuck? Said, <laughs> If you read what the pillar says, it says, do not disturb, gamer at work. Thank you. Dog knows he don't want anybody talking to him while he's playing in the games. And I don't so. barely sell him sleep. So this is a great gift. <laughs> Unlike the tie you niggas been trying to give me for the last couple years. So I also got him four pieces of art. One that says, when life gets hard, just means you get leveled up. Little, you know, gaming culture. Gaming culture. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, in your yeah. room right here. Also, just five more minutes. Uh, so, that's all I need. Just five more minutes. <laughs> not, get, five not getting off that game. Also, <laughs> I can't just pause the game. Like, you, you just right. can't pause the game. <laughs> they they, they online. Like these are going to go around the room. I like these. And video games don't, <laughs> don't make violence. Lag does. Because, you know, <laughs> that lag <laughs> get real violent. Yeah, it was all shit today. <laughs> Taylor Gang knows about that. And, of course, uh, this one I thought was just kind of personal. I wanted you to have this. But oh, really? from what, what I know about you, things I know that you like that I can oh. afford, I was like, hey, let me hook the dog up. <laughs> this nigga called me a 12-pack of Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga Hollywood. Thank you, God. <laughs> I so, appreciate you bought the can version and the uh, Mexican bottle, bottle version. Hit, <laughs> hit you in Mexico. <laughs> that's, 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 that's real cold. cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cocaine in it. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the bottle be white around the we edges. Drink, and then you look at the bottle and be like, uh oh, <laughs> who had this before me? <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones we used to turn in in the 70s. I mean, we should collect bottles and turn them in. The motherfuckers came back up, cuz. Thank you, Hollywood. Say happy birthday, dog. Thank you, brother. I appreciate the gift. It's the love that counts. You understand me? Yes, it is. Mm. Uh, Have a coconut spout. Oh, Lord. And, dog, this is also that's a card from everybody on the GGL production team. Oh, for everybody, real? everybody wanted to just show you some love to the man who shows so much love to all of us. Thank you so much for being such an incredible host, for allowing us to be here. The GGL yeah. would not be a thing without you. Yeah. Just know that you're appreciated. We want to show the love while you're still around to feel it. So we want you to feel all this love. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Sa oh, Savage. Forgot. Savage came through in a major way. Savage 420. Yeah, that one ain't a pillow you want to sleep on. Game ran work, too. My team at Cannabis World Cultivation work real hard on this, and Savage is bringing it to the world. Um, it's really an honor to give you this for your birthday. Thank you, boss, man. Yeah, appreciate you. What's the uh, quantity? That's a pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, I, mean, I, bought, I just wanted to make sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my heyday. <laughs> 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 this is my heyday. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got yeah. birthday yeah. presents. <laughs> Any more birthday presents? No. Surprises? <laughs> Now's the time. Anything? Yeah. Speak now forever. Hold your peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been GGL number seven. Let's get all the contestants to squeeze back here. Yeah, get up get there, everybody get everybody in here. If you competed today, three on three, yes. Madden action. Guys, we're I doing it real big every time. month. We're going to start going to I two take a off. I'm GGLs a month. Right <laughs> no, I just look like a nigga that's... In a space movie. So far, we've only been giving you guys one, but now we're going to start going to two GGLs a month. So make sure you guys are tagging on the chat. Make sure you guys put what games you want to see. Obviously, Madden's going to stay a staple in this franchise, but also what other games do you want to see us competing in in the GGL? Do I give any last words? Um, I'm glad that uh, the championship trophy can go to another house. Um, good competition today. Uh, shout out to everybody that came out here to get down and show love and put their teams together, put their, you know, put their egos to the side to play with other people. 
Man. That's what it was about today, not being a selfish player, not being Real about, talk. you know, I, 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 but about we. And we, we lost together, we won together, but this, I'm just trying to bring the homies together. I like doing shit like this. Like, they don't be understanding what I be doing sometimes. They just be trying to get everybody to be on the same page so we can have more friends and have more downtime and when we be fucking with each other online and bullshit. And that's, that's brotherhood. That's something that we're going to hold on to Absolutely. forever. So I just want to say I love y'all niggas, and I'm, I'm glad that y'all fucking with me. That's all I want to do is keep putting some more love in the air and keep letting motherfuckers win championships. And now... We want to welcome some real, real gamers to the world because we got some top 10 motherfuckers in here now. So all the people, what's their name, Dan? Who are the people? You know all the people? Which ones? The, the top five, who was that? Problems. Problems, yeah. right. And bring them on. Bring them on. Skimbo. Yeah, all yeah. Them. Yeah. yeah, come on, man. Give us, give us some action, man. We want some action. We want to see if we really that good. We want to see if we that good. Shut us down or step up to the challenge. Either or. We here, man. Mm. There you go. d got Ah, this is a great tournament. I think defense came up huge here, and it was just a lot of fun. I love being here with you guys. You can really feel the energy. Everyone else that's here getting to watch, it's, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. So thank you. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you, guys. Glad you're yeah. here. We got the best host in the gaming world, man. Come know on, that. Man. Mm -hmm. These niggas is motherfucking Pat Summerall and John Madden. They go <laughs> yeah, For real. So when y'all sign me and the crew to the contract, these are the announcers that come with it. Because I know some Woo! company out there looking right now trying to figure out how much they're going to put together to come pick this thing up. Get your money right, man. Get the bag together. That's right. Get What's the up, bag right. Right. Speaking What's up, of sponsors, for the last time, I want to give a yeah. big shout out to our sponsors. The Savage 420 coming through birthdays, Lucid Sound, of course, the headset sponsor of the GGL, and Wingstop coming through yet again. That Wingstop, man, they been giving us free wings. Nigga, I was looking, nigga, Wingstop is my kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wingstop, you don't stop. <laughs> Said, of course, Boss Lady Entertainment, big shout out for everybody here at the compound. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. GGL number seven in the books. We'll see you next month with something new. Seven days. Until next time, my name's Hollywood. This is D God and the entire GGL crew. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hey. Hey.